replication of lambda DNA in lytic and lysogenic cycles. We have the idea that uh, whenever lambda phages they infect its host organism, then they can uh, overcome the host machinery by injecting their DNA. After injection the nucleic acid or lambda genome, then there are two possibilities. One of the two possibility is that ke jo lambda genome hai wo entry ke baad independent behave karta hai. Independent means that ke wo uh, because of its own region of replication wo hud hi replicate karta hai or replicate karne ke baad uh, ya during the process of replication wo jo host DNA hai uski disintegration karta hai or apne jo genome hai uske number of copies ko enhance karta hai. So with the passage of time even after uh, 25 minutes uh, or slightly more uh, the lambda genome it can produce after replication around 200 phages that after uh, packaging uh, they can lyse the host cell and they are released and ready to infect uh, new host organism. Another possibility is that they are not going to cause the lysis of the host cell. Rather after uh, adsorption it will inject its DNA or genome and the linear duplex molecule it is again converted into circular form by joining its cohesive site or cos site because of the complementary base pairing at the phi prime end. When it is converted into circular form, the next step is that it will integrate itself into the host genome where it will replicate along the host chromosome and transfer it into daughter cells. And then with the passage of time uh, due to some stimulus that may be under laboratory conditions ultraviolet light uh, it will be excised from the host genome and after excision uh, it will again overcome the host machinery and after producing number of phage particles it can cause the lysis of the host cell. So uh, after entry of the lambda genome uh, there may be two possibilities that it may enter into lytic phase or lysogenic phase where the prophage formation is there uh, in case of lysogeny where the lambda genome it is integrated into the host genome. In case of the lytic cycle the expression of the genes it can be divided into three temporal stages. Pali stage ko kehte hain early stage, iske baad middle stage or late stage. अगर एक दफा अर्ली स्टेज के जीन एक्सप्रेस हो जाएं तो इसका मतलब यह है कि जो फेज का साइकिल है यह एंटर होने जा रहा है इनटू लिटिक साइकिल एंड एट द सेम टाइम देन लाइसोजेनी विल बी इनहिबिटेड वंस द अर्ली जीन्स दे आर ट्रांसक्राइब्ड देन इट इज फॉलोड बाय द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन ऑफ मिडिल जीन्स that are mainly related to the gene products that are involved in the replication and recombination of the uh, DNA. And at later stages, tail or other components, uh, they are produced. So what is the situation uh, after infection of the lambda genome to the host organism? Uh, we can discuss in the form of diagram. As I told you that after adsorption to the bacterial cell wall and injection of the lambda genome, then there are two possibilities. First possibility is that it will enter into lysogeny and second that it will enter into lytic cycle. In case if lysogeny it is there, so prophage formation is there after the integration of the lambda genome into the host organism between the gall and the bioregion. And due to some stimulus 
it can also be excised. That may be ultraviolet light under laboratory conditions. Otherwise, it will replicate along with host chromosome until some stimulus it causes its excision. Another possibility is that the second that it will enter into lytic phase where it will divide independently by using rolling circle model of DNA replication. So number of copies it is produced here and in this case where the number of copies they are connected with each other the DNA it may be called as a concatameric DNA that are separated by cos site. Concatameric DNA means that the same copies they are repeated that are separated by cos site that at later stages due to cleavage. So cleavage it is caused by endolytic enzymes and then the later stages the packaging it is there and after packaging the phage particle it is released and now it is ready to infect new host organism. So this is the life cycle that may be followed by the lytic cycle or the lysogenic cycle. This diagram indicates the major promoters and transcription termination sites of phage lambda DNA. So here the transcription it is begins from the left or right side of the gene which is called as CL gene it can synthesize a repressor protein. When it is synthesized it can stop the transcription of early transcription proteins and can repress the lytic cycle and genomic DNA will enter or lambda DNA will enter into lysogenic phase. So two promoters are there PL and PR at the left and right side that can cause the transcription of early genes or early transcripts uh, biosynthesis it is there that is indicated by this thick line uh, uh, arrow and it will continue up to the site which is called as the TL or TR1 or TR2 maximum so early gene transcription will be up to these sites then after that the middle transcription it will start and that is followed by the transcription of late genes so in this way different components they are synthesized